Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another look, the second look with the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I picked up this palette yesterday from Sephora and wanted to do three different videos with it. I want to get the most bang for my buck from the palette. So if you want to see the first look that I created, I have that up on my channel so I am creating the second look today so if you guys would like to see how I created this look then just keep watching okay I'm gonna do more of a cool tone look today sorry if you can hear snow plows in the back got a big storm last night so everyone's working on their driveways in their backyard so I'm gonna go in with this light transition color it's coming up lighter on camera it is like a cool light taupe color and I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid all right I'm gonna take this crease shade which is also a cooler taupe it was the first time that i worked out today in like over a month i have had like a hard time getting back into a routine just because there's like no structure and you just don't know what's going down right now so it was nice to actually get up and do that so i'm just putting this color up on the outer brow bone area and then I'm going to take a little bit of this warmer tone and go on the inner brow area and I'm going to blend that that is going to be blended Now I'm taking the light transition color and I'm just kind of blending it through just to smooth out any uh, patchiness and imperfections. All right, now I'm taking like this gun metal foil color and a flat brush. I'm just going to work on the outer corner. All right, I blended that through and then I just took a paper towel and kind of dragged it along just to kind of clean up the outer corner without really taking off too much makeup and just giving it a more precise line, cleaning up those edges. Now I'm gonna take this lighter shade of foiled gray this one has almost some purpley brown undertones while this one had more like greenish undertones. I'm gonna just put this all over the lid.
Now I'm going to take this lighter shade and use my finger for this one and just pat that in the middle of my eye. I'm going to go in with this taupe crease color and a little squared off brush and go underneath my lower lash line. And come up and kind of connect it. All right, so I put on some eyeliner and mascara, and this is the final look. I love that it's almost like, the foil color almost looks like it's got some turquoise green in it. I think mixing the one that may have been, let's see. It doesn't even look like it would be, like it would have much green in it, but there's gotta be some in there, and then there's gotta be or some blues in here actually, and there's some yellows in with this, and just the mixture of the two together is giving me like, almost like a turquoise vibe. And then just playing off of the taupes and the grays, I think that works really well together. I kind of buffed out the under eye a bit just to smoke it out a little bit more. The only thing that I would have to say is maybe this crease color, you really got to work at blending it. It can kind of look patchy, so you really have to blend it out. It is got a creamy feel to it, but just the coolness in it, like in person, it looks more blended out than it does on camera, so might be the way the light is playing off the color but this is the second look using the Natasha Denona glam palette I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the third look